Hey everyone, so in today's vlog, we are gonna talk about values and life purpose. How do values fit into your life purpose? And can values change over time as you go through this journey of inquiry, this spiritual journey of consciousness? How do you find your purpose basically. So I'm gonna give you my personal story. I used to value success. My first value was always success. I just knew that I had to be successful. And what success to me meant was I needed to be in a position of power and I needed to be compensated in that leadership position and make good money. That was basically my life purpose for a really, really long time. Then I became an entrepreneur and because my measurement, my values didn't change, but my job title changed, the, the success without me even knowing it because I was having fun with entrepreneurship. I was allowed to be creative and I was the boss of everything. No one could do anything without me okaying it. Success became creativity. I still had the same value on money. Yes, money meant success, but I started shifting a little bit to okay, Creativity for me also means success. Then I kind of like was comfortable with what I was doing as an entrepreneur and I began more of this spiritual journey, more self inquiry. And as I was inquiring about self, I began to changed my value and now my value was love because my number one value was love and it was self-love because I've always been, my personality is to be a compassionate, caring, loving person to others, but I was never that to myself. So through this self-inquiry, my first value became me love for me. So then I went on this journey of what is self-love? How can I act upon, once I learned what I enjoyed, what self-love is to me, then I began to notice how people do not treat me with love. People use me for things. And a lot of the relationships I had were not in balance. They were in favor of the other person. So for my own self-love, I, I decided that maybe these relationships aren't good for me. I went through that and I did it without anger. That was the difference. I have been in the past um, 13 years or so, I have gotten rid of a lot of people in my life, but I always got rid of them with ego, with anger. But when I went on, my value was love, self-love, I no longer shifted people out with anger at all. I just shifted out them out with light and love. Like, sorry it didn't work out. I love you very much. I wish you all the best. And that's truly how I feel for these people. Even though I don't communicate with them, even when sometimes I feel like they did me wrong, my ego kicks in, I'm just like, whatever. That's just my perception. Their perception is obviously different. There's no truth here. The, the thing was, our contracts were over. It was time for them to go. I had no more growth in that situation and I felt I felt worse in that friendship than I felt good in that friendship. So they had to go. Okay, now just recently, my values have shifted again. And now my value is fun, laugh, happiness, joyful. And I'm attracting those experiences. I have laughed so much in the last month or so, even month and a half, two months, I have not been taking life as seriously anymore. And, I, and I've 
notice that the more fun I have, the more I laugh, the happier I am. So my value of fun, joy, happiness is beginning to feel fulfilled. And since I've shifted my value, because since I've shifted the, the value again, so now happiness is at the top, laughter, fun, all of that is number one for me, I am noticing that the people around me smile at me more. The people around me want, they ask me out for like coffees, lunch, happy hour, dinner. That is because I am feeling my number one value and I'm living by that value, which is laugh, have fun, be happy. So to go back, it's really important to understand your value in order to live your life purpose because your life purpose is, is to usually people's life, life purposes is to create. We're not meant to be minions. We're not meant to, to just do the same thing over and over and over again. We're meant to explore, expand, express, create, always bringing new scenarios, learning. We are learners. That's what we're here for. So what I have noticed is that my as I shifted my values out, so when I completed a value like success, success was my value until I was about 40, I would say. And when I shifted that out to uh, love, okay, and then when I found self-love and I felt content with it, then I grew and I shifted that out to, okay, fun, laughter, joy, happiness. Shifted that out. I feel like I have expanded my purpose. I feel like I am doing the things that I am meant to do here on this earth, that I have value. So... This is why it is really important to know what your values are in life. And in the beginning, this is a really hard process. Like I did not realize that my value of success was so closely related to money and money was related to my self-worth for a very long time, very, very long time. And then when I shifted into entrepreneurship, found creativity and found success through creativity and everything else starts to flow in, to fall into place, I realized, okay, so success is no longer equal to money. Success is my creativity. And then I shifted that out. So. I hope that helps. I, I really just wanted to make that make this vlog because people are looking for their life purpose and they're looking for it out. And this is how it goes. First, you look outside of yourself, then you look inside of yourself. And this is when the real process, your real life purpose kind of starts smacking you in the face. The other thing is the reason value is so important, and this is probably the most important part of this vlog. In my personal experience, when because naturally I'm, I'm a kind person and naturally I'm giving and naturally like things like wisdom and in order to see balance in people's problems, all of that came to me naturally. I, I naturally can look at situations in relationships or in whatever people are going through. I can look at that and I know where the problem is. Like it takes me not even three seconds to look at this as a whole and, uh, and give that person advice in their highest good easiest path. It doesn't take me long at all. But what I did was I didn't value that aspect of myself, which is wisdom. I'm a good critiquer, but I can do it without judgment. So when I give people advice, it's not from my own 
judgment of how I've lived or what I've learned. It's usually intuitively given to that person. But because that comes to me so easily, I never gave that value. I never ever gave the amount of compassion I give to people, the amount of love I give to people, I never gave that value. And this is really important to notice. It's kind of like, like when I was in school, I always had to study really, really hard for things, really hard. So even when I finished nursing school I and my master's, everything I did, I had to work for that shit. Whereas my brother was really good at a lot of different things and it just came to him so easy. It was really easy for him to just pick things up and he would just run with it. He would just go. But the thing was, because he could easily like do sports and easily play instruments if he wanted, he didn't give those things that much value, so therefore, he didn't explore those options in his life. And that's exactly what I did. Because care, compassion, and I can, I'm a great problem solver for, for other people, and I, I, I give it with kindness, where it works for everybody, no one's hurt in the situation, I'm good at that, but I never gave that value because it comes to me naturally. But now what I'm doing is I'm starting to give those aspects of my personality that are so natural to me more value than those aspects that are hard for me. So one of the things that I do and I'm good at comes naturally is I can, I can laugh at myself without any problems. I can critique myself when I'm wrong without any problems. Now I'm giving that value and I'm saying to myself, okay, because you critique yourself, that is why you can see the issues in other people's homes and lives and you can critique it without any, making anybody feel bad, but giving them compassion instead. Now I can do that. Now I give wisdom that I have value, the compassion that I have, value. I, I'm not just gonna be like, oh, that comes easy for me, so I'm not giving it any value. No, now I give it the most value. And fun, happiness, laughter has expanded that for me. Anyways, I hope this vlog helps. Love you guys so much, bye.